One fateful night, my parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes. The their legacy untouchable. Until I learned the truth. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. He ruled over Gotham from the shadows. And everything I thought I knew about myself changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman. But they would not be the last. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. Lucky 13! There it is. Rumi Mori, import-export magnet, one-time Pipex CEO. International arms dealer. The world sees Maury as a legitimate businessman. A philanthropist who gives to charity. Not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence. A masterful performance. I wonder... If a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. I don't. I never forget what drives me. Protecting the innocent from people like Mori. That stays the same no matter what mask I wear. Don't I know? Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Mori's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Maury is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. The bat computer. Al, I'm hacking into Maury's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a bad... He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. Some place where only high rollers go. Sorry to be blunt, but you're not my type. Excuse me? No, really, I've got pretty specific tastes. <laughs> Get over yourself, Bruce. I was just trying to be friendly. You? What in the hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Maury. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Are you always this rude? 
Bruce. You think your gibberish intimidates Hello? Not him. You'd better gear up. You can't just blow me off. Please get away from me. Now. What? Just turn around and start walking. <sighs> You're lost, rich boy. You're not all that, you know. No one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap, let's go. <sighs> Wrong. The correct answer is, are you dead? Now, let's get started. Get out of there. Get your suit. Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves! Gordon on the line, scrambling audio now. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. Please, please, we can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I'd choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this! Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone, fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that scraps... Riddler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. It's the kind of conundrum that drives you to... Some kind of torture device. Doesn't seem like he's getting out until he guesses the riddle. This Riddler certainly has an imagination. That gives you a moment's peace. Believe me, I know. Remember, choose your words. Same woman from before. Perhaps you should have turned on the charm. Batman will save her, along with everyone else. But don't think you can just stall. I will get bored. You won't like that.
Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. Audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. I'm losing patience, Mori. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman, we can't get in. The front covered by gunmen, and they've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? We need a distraction. Find a way to limit their line of sight. Sounds like a plan. You're completely insane! No? I don't believe that's it. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give him hell. We're counting on you. schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! his head break it open with pleasure I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well... Since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. <coughs> I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you... I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge! This is my city! Now I'm back, and I'm taking what's mine. Gotham has forgotten you, Riddler. Crawl back under your rock before you get hurt. <laughs> Says the man with a hook at his throat. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely at my mercy. I don't see much evidence of that. I expected more of a battle from you, Batman. Something longer. More of a match of wits. While my men mop up what passes for law enforcement Gordon, in this now. town. <laughs> oh, you have to be kidding. Clever. But not smart enough. Let me show you how a 
that was done. Back in the day. Just doesn't do it for me. Follow the power lines. There must be a weak point. Great hurt. It just doesn't do it for me. Follow the power lines. There must be a weak point. That's cheating! Think I care about your rules? I'd heard you're a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Mori made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. Why wouldn't you just let him die? You thought that stunt with Mori would cover your escape. I wanted to show you I could save him and still catch you. I don't have to compromise. You haven't caught me yet? Nothing I've seen so far suggests you will. You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help.
circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, Bat Freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk-offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads. Tell me all about it down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody. Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help. Dragging him down. We got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh huh. Different end is on it right away. Commissioner Gordon. Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way. I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary bad man. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. I don't know who you think you are, but I don't like your attitude. Who I think I am? Oh, I know I'm your new best friend. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them, give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler, they're kind of our specialty. I've never heard of this agency. I'll take that as a compliment. We like to keep a low profile. <laughs> that means she operates from the shadows. As do you. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly, and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back. And if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention the city's corrupt mayor, Dent. We could do great things together if we joined forces. Whatever you think you can bring to the table, I don't need it. You knew me even a little, you wouldn't hesitate. Trust me, you want me on your side. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut. I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller. Please, Commissioner. Tear gas. In a hostage situation, we got an ambulance full of civilians with their eyes swollen shut. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? Back off, Waller. Don't blame the police, blame Riddler. Or hadn't you noticed he was the one cutting off fingers? Oh, I noticed, all right. Just like I noticed you let him get away. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far, as a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Ooh, I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. Special Agent in Monta Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only. <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? 
We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. He's a madman. You can't look for reason in someone so clearly deranged. Riddler does show signs of an obsessive-compulsive disorder. But he's calculating, fiercely intelligent. I'd be surprised if this wasn't part of a bigger plan. Let me know if you think of anything. It'd be a help. <clears throat> I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos. The energy. You can't keep away, can you? I don't like what you're insinuating. Uh, of course, I... Keep your pop's psych evaluations to Riddler and stay out of my head. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to pry. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. But you should know I don't have to play nice. I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or this courtesy call is gonna become something you really won't like. You get me? There's a lot of ways this could go. I don't take kindly to threats, Waller. Full evening. I have taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. I need something cool. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. Explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. It, it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. No, I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. Alfred, it's clearly a problem. You should get it looked at. Uh, well, as you say, Bruce, it'll pass. Working always helps. There's 
Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Mori. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden, to get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. You're getting soft, Alfred. There's only one way to treat creeps like Riddler. And believe me, it's not therapy. Well, in this one case, Bruce, I'll concede your methods might be more appropriate. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. I take everything back. The agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, that man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. The Riddler's a flashy homicidal maniac with a thing for puzzles, and Waller and her agency might be just as dangerous. Again, Waller may be running a more ethical operation these days. Let's see what Riddler's little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. Eye of a hurricane. It fits the description in the riddle, but I'm not sure how it helps us. Even if there were hurricanes in Gotham, it's hard to imagine one helping us with the object in question. If that is indeed the key. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Uh, sounds very plausible. 
Look at these strange grooves. Needle. A record needle. a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself, unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms, something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually gonna be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter, working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Tower. Good hunting. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. I just talked to the board, and our stock price has doubled since you took the company back from Oswald Cobblepot. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Why, Regina? You're prying. Sorry, I didn't mean to overstep. Forget I asked. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop... No, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Huh. Now would you look at that? Micropulse waveform. Ah, the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? 
I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. Tip my God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Snaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. It's so hard to know what to get a man who has everything. So I made you some tech the government would be jealous of. Well, I'm strange, but I'm not that into projectiles being aimed at my head. Oh, I'm sorry, Bruce. I didn't... <sighs> <laughs> What's a little drone strike between friends, right? Hmm. Great first impression, huh? Keep it anyway. It's a pretty useful little gadget. If I say so myself. Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look... Like, uh, someone who needs another four hours of sleep? That's because you work too hard. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a man who pretty much lives in his lab. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. Oh, well, your clearance level isn't high enough to tell you that, Tiffany. It's not high enough now. Give me a few weeks and I'll know all your secrets. He's being serious. This is above your pay grade. <laughs> Come on, guys. Clearance? You two don't have the slightest idea what this thing is, do you? You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. Are you sure you don't have some place to be? Whatever. I've got to get back to orientation anyway. Have fun scratching your heads. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. I understand your hesitation about involving her in this Riddler business. But uh, you should consider bringing Tiffany into the fold into the mission. If not now, then in the future. We're going to need help if we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. She's family after all. Well, do you know what she wants, Lucius? It's not for us to decide her future. That's fair. It's just that our work means a great deal to me. I'd like to share that with her. Let's put a pin in this for now. I think we've got enough on our plates. Well, oh, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, 
Well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here? I'll be down in a few. No worries. I'll, uh, start without you. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Behavioral Analysis Unit. We just came by to ask a few questions? Is this gonna take long? It's not really a good time. I'm afraid this meeting isn't optional. You'll just have to put up with us for a few minutes. This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe? <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? How's it going down there? I, uh, left that file on your desk. Think you could bring it down? I'll be down in just a second. Sorry about that. What were you saying? I was saying you're a bit of a mystery. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Well, I'm sorry, I think you were in the wrong place. You see, I don't really consort with criminals, or international terrorists for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> really? Because our sources say otherwise. A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You helped the GCPD capture Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin. He was a terrorist, a member of the Children of Arkham, and your friend. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm not sure I like where this conversation is going. This probably isn't gonna help. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. John may very well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I don't care what you saw. You weren't there. You don't know what happened. I realize that was an unpleasant time for you. We're not here to dredge up ancient history. Then why are you asking about him? John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Oh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for, what, a day? Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, 
are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. <laughs> and your point is what exactly? That I'm some kind of criminal mastermind? Or just really unlucky? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. Get the hell out of my... That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. out of the building get yourself out what are you talking what did you figure out i've i've solved the riddler's puzzle bruce uh, riddler really pulled a good one over on us uh, i might still be able to disable it but uh, it doesn't look good lucius just stay calm okay i'm gonna get you out of here tell tiffany that i love her that i'm sorry i wasn't around more Lucius, we really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius! One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. there for me, Lucius. From the very beginning. I'm gonna miss you. He was a good man. To lose him like this, it's, it's hard to bear. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Riddler will pay for what he's done. I swear to you, I will make him suffer. Maybe it's what's called for, given the circumstances. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes, she can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. I know your dad's in a better place. Maybe. I wouldn't trade places with him. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. 
just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. So much wisdom in that goofy head of his. He should have made time for his family. For you. Easy to say that now. You were the one working him to the bone. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Please tell me. For my own sanity. I can't share that with you, Tiffany. I'm sorry. What... What do you mean? I mean it is need to know. I need to know. Bruce, I need answers. And I can't give them to you. Fine. Just... Tell me one thing. That weird disc. You were trying to keep me away from it. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I need to know. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. All be grateful. You... you knew my father. Well, no, but judging by all the lovely people here, he must have been quite a man. Either that, or he left a lot of money. Excuse me? <laughs> <clears throat> Just saying. He seems popular. <laughs> Much beloved. Whoa, whoa. What the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion.
It's the best place for you. I'm sure they take you back. Oh, no, Bruce. <laughs> Didn't you know? I'm cured. Dr. Leland said so herself. Cross my heart. <laughs> Off the meds and everything. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that, uh, favor you owe me. You know, you, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham. Sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're, you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. You're crazy if you think any of that matters now. Crazy's not a very nice word, Bruce. It's, it's derogatory, and Dr. Leland says that people use it as a weapon. You may be asking yourself, who? Who will comfort me now that Lucius is gone? You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. I made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you. Of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. I, you, you will meet them for me, won't you? Please? I've, I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Gosh, John, I don't know my... The schedule's just so packed these days. Please don't blow me off. Not after what we went through together. Maybe try my secretary. <sighs> Disappointing. <laughs> you know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. Just makes me want... I don't know. Lash out. Shh. Shh. We're here to mourn. Please, you trust me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. How dare you? That is enough. Either you calm down or I will personally drag you outside and teach you respect. That's it. That's right there. That's what I came for. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce, that outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief, and a killer, and worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. So I shouldn't be surprised. Not your usual crowd, though. Or so I thought. If I were you, I'd stay away from Riddler, John. He's dangerous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you don't have to tell me twice, buddy boy. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. You mean his hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. Tell me where he is. I am not messing around, John. Oh, Bruce. I missed your 
fire. I really did. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. Listen to me carefully, John. Make sure this happens, or you'll be sorry. No need for a tantrum, Bruce. I'm on your side. Just remember, when the time comes, I want you to meet my friends. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Tower start falling apart, makes you wonder what's next. Ah, I'll bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spends some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do, finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Wayne's still in one piece. It's the dead who deserve your sympathy. They have it. Them and their families. You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. Looks like gang activities heating up along 43rd. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Eh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. A construction site at the center of 46th. Abandoned. Harvey's boys demolished that area, chasing the children of Arkham. There's nothing but a crater there. Not really a place for Riddler to have a hideout. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. Hey, if this leak pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> Whatever you said to her at the casino really got up her nose. I have to tell you. I got a bad feeling about her. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. It puts her people at risk. And believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to get her man. That doesn't sit right with me. And I don't think she's good for Gotham. Fine with me. Whatever gets results. There's a line, Batman. 
Once you cross it, you stop being on the side of right. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Uh, if there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. I don't want Waller involved. You and I can handle Riddler. Just like it's always been. Glad to see we're on the same page. We gotta watch out for her. She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll grab a car and meet you at Riddler's hideout. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come not. Kept Waller and her agency people out of the loop on this. It's just the two of us. We can handle this without her. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Someone's keeping a scrapbook. Vane, isn't he? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. God damn it! It's... it's stuck! No way to open it from the inside. Then how do we get out? We go in. After you. house any day. pupils is fully dilated, the others contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. The man bit his tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock, or a sudden jolt. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. Was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. One shoe is missing. The sole of the other one's almost completely melted through. It's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. Ah. 
masks. Each one missing a different facial feature. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. Bleeds inside. And a lot of blood. Huh. We know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers. Safes with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. must have been looking for the answer in one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Metal mesh lining the walls. Riddler has converted this entire place into a giant Faraday cage. Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Prototype of the trap he used on Mori. The armor, extremely sturdy. Ensuring there's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. This is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. The glass. It's polarized. So it is. It won't budge. It must be locked in place. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? Huh. Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency... Delph, I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. If you win the game, I'll let you go free. And you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now how is that for motivation? Screw you! <laughs> He had the agent bound while he beat him. More monkey statues. I'm starting to sense a theme here. That's an agency issue pistol. Packs a hell of a jolt. I saw it take down Riddler's goons at the casino. It was impressive. Gotta give it to Waller. Her people have great tech. One shoe. 
melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. If this door were closed, portal would be looking right at those monitors. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. Mori, he sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mori for a while now. She must have known. Say. Riddler's not working alone. Just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues. They don't see eye to eye. Apparently they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beelined for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers. And there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes. Mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could... Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The bat suit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game 
is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Maybe you'd like to go in and solve it yourself. No, go ahead. I wouldn't want to steal your thunder. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct save will have a face with those senses removed. Yep, yeah, I'll check. Ah, oh, damn it. They're still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. What the hell? Congratulations! You're almost done. That is, if you can withstand my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Ow! The riddle! Use it to open the savings! I'll put a stop to this damn choice! <laughs> my short-range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Ow! The riddle! Use it to open the savings! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! <laughs> God, whatever's in that safe, it'll be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. What is it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. 
Mori sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up before going dark forever. Turn yourself in while you still have a chance. Don't say stupid things, okay? Not when you've just started earning my respect. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. We'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government scum in your corner. They're no friends of mine. No, they're not. They'll smile to your face to get what they want. The Agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The Agency made me. Okay, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. Even the things you'd rather not. Save your sob story for jail. I'm not interested. You think I want sympathy? This is my city. I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see where the man who doesn't compromise actually draws his lines. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. Something only a pragmatist would do. You shouldn't have said his name, Riddler. I'll make you pay for what happened to Lucius. That must be the guilt talking. After all, the poor man's death is on you. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency, smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower... You gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? I'd tell you if I could, Jim. Now it's like that, huh? As I said, if I could. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you... It doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? Whatever you do, this has to stay between us. Oh, does it? Because I, what, just happened to stumble into it? I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. 
If you really think it's important, this stays between us. And I won't say a word. Batman. Uh, I'll be waiting to hear from you. your discussion with Commissioner Gordon. Now he knows that Lucius Fox and the Batman are, were, allies. Gordon's dangerously close to figuring out who you are. If he does find out, I have no idea how he react. It's not a chance you can afford to take. Worrying about it won't help anything. Neither will being Cavalier. You were radio silent for so long. Tell me, did you find out how Lucius died? This is a missile I found in Riddler's workshop. The explosion at Wayne Tower. We were thinking about it all wrong. The puzzle wasn't an explosive. It was an emitter. When it was solved, it emitted a signal. You heard it earlier. If allowed to play too long, it becomes a large signal. Dear God, you did solve the box. We just didn't know it. The Batcave Scrambler blocked the signal. Poor Lucius. Wayne Tower offered no such protections. Our tight little family has gotten smaller because of it. It was the three of us looking out for each other. Now it's two. We can't indulge in despair, Alfred. We simply don't have time for it. Yes, you're right, of course, Bruce. I'm sorry. Between the Lady Arkham affair and losing Lucius in this gruesome fashion, this war of ours is taking its toll. The list of agency operatives from Riddler's workshop. He plans to do the same thing to them. It's a hit list. It's only useful if he has a way to target the agents, though. And I doubt he's sending them all puzzle boxes. Hold on, let's just walk through it. He's hacked their cell phones. He could pinpoint the location of any one of these operatives. his signal through their phone to make them a target of a missile strike. Can you block it? If I can get a clean copy of the signal, yes. the only way I can get a clean version of the signal. It's pretty grim, Alfred. You don't have to watch. I can handle it. I've never been one to shy away from duty, however unpleasant it may be. Actually, Al, I'm gonna do this part on my own. Why don't you, uh, why don't you get us some tea while we work? Well, if you insist, Bruce. daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking about? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius. We really made a difference, didn't we? Batman?
brain. Now I just need to create a filter to get a clean version of the signal. And then match up the points found in both sound files. Nope. The two sounds have to be the same. cell phone hack. They'll recognize any incoming signal match and shut down, negating the launch. Makes sense for me to have the signal on me as well. What for? Riddler still has functioning missiles. Once he finds out I've blocked his targets, he may decide to launch indiscriminately. But with the signal, I might be able to divert them. Tiffany gave me this the day Lucius died. Let's put it to good work. It's not a theory I really want to test. So we had better find Riddler first. There is always Riddler's second in command. Eli Nabel, arrested after his attack on the casino. None of the authorities have gotten anything out of him yet. Unknown contact. What is it? That John guy from the funeral from Arkham. Who actually sounds like he's keeping his word. Maury, huh? John thinks that Maury can get us Riddler's location. Do you believe him? Maybe we should go back to the beginning. Bring Rumi Maury up on the back computer. Either of them could potentially lead me to him. And the question is, which is more likely to help you? Riddler's lieutenant. Eli Nabel. Took a go at me in the casino. Put up quite a fight. Cracking him will be tougher, more physical. Certainly a job for Batman. He's currently in Waller's custody in a GCPD holding cell. Interrogating Nabel there would be a visible endorsement of Waller's authority. Gordon won't like it. On the other hand, or he's a businessman. Given the right incentive, he could be persuaded to talk. He sure can't have any love for Riddler after his attempted murder at the casino. I'd say he'd respond better to a more genteel approach. Peer-to-peer -peer as Bruce Wayne. However, the agency is watching him. If Waller finds out that Bruce Wayne sought a parley with Mori, she'll not be best pleased. Talk to Eli. It'll be nice to catch up. Tell Waller I'm on my way.
Batman. Gordon's in briefing the deputy ops. I'm sure he'd want to know you were here. Wallace agency people commandeered the whole precinct. Pretty much moved in. They give you any trouble, I'll straighten them out. Running around like they own the place. They got no respect for the way we do things. You have Eli Nabel in custody. Take me to him. Nabel's my prisoner, not hers. Says who? Four of my agents went missing, including Agent Avesta. I don't have time for a pissing contest. Your agents are missing? We believe Riddler took them. If the body you found in his workshop is anything to go by, I... We don't have much time. Riddler warned us the last time we nearly caught him in Sudan. Said he'd hit back if we got too close. Sounds like you need my help. If it gets my people back, then sure. Riddler's lieutenant hasn't given us a damn thing. I'm hoping you'll have better luck making him talk. That's why I'm here. Come on, then. Just remember, the Commissioner likes things by the book. Gordon told me you talked to Riddler in the workshop. You say anything I should know? Riddler said he had a history with the agency. Claims your people broke him. Made him insane. That maniac was insane long before he came on my radar. He implied it was before your time. He can tell me all about it after Nabel gives him up. You know, I saw what you did to Carmine Falcone last year. If you impaled a 60-year-old man on a spike of rebar, well, you'll know how to deal with this punk. What's your point? Use any means necessary. As long as you get Nabel to tell us where Riddler is. My agents' lives are at risk. The gloves have to come off. I'll get him to talk. My way, not yours. I don't care how you do it. As long as it gets done. Meet your new interrogator, Eli. I believe you two have met before. Get up and get in that goddamn chair. Probably best to keep this off the record. Unless you prefer me to leave it on. If you're worried what Gordon might think. Keep it off. Need anything else? You might hear some screaming in a minute. Pretend you can't. Work with me, Eli. Maybe I can help you in return. I'm so, so glad you're here. These people, they ain't cops. They ran the cops off. But I heard about you. you you'll keep them, they keep her from killing me. Riddler said you had rules against that, against killing. Time's running out, Eli, so don't test it. Just get me out of here. Talk, and I'll think about it. I can't! We don't have time for carrots, Batman. Only thing moving this mule is a big old stick. You get me? If I wanted a partner in the room while I asked. Fine. Just remember, we don't have time to waste. Where is he, Eli? I already said I can't tell you. And I said it a million times to the guys before. 
The only thing I'm more scared of than dying is pissing him off. You seen his machines? He can hurt you in ways they don't got names for. Riddler just dabbles in pain, Eli. I've turned pain into an art form. You don't understand! Riddler has a plan that no one can stop. You can't beat him. He studied you too well. And the agency? <laughs> they don't have a chance. He can destroy them anytime he wants with a phone call. He's talking about the signal, Bruce. He has no idea you protected the agent's phones. There's no one that can save me if I cross him. Give him up, and I'll make that danger go away. No one else has to die. There's no getting away from him. He could be anywhere with his signal. Bruce, his fear of Riddler is too great. You have to get in his head somehow. There's nothing you can do, Batman. We'll see about that. Is that? That signal! You're calling a missile right to us! You've got 90 seconds, Eli. Talk. Batman, shut that thing off right now! You're... you're insane! You'll kill us all! It's counting down, Eli. What are you going to do about it? You're bluffing. There's cops outside this door. You're gonna get us all killed! Maybe. Maybe not. Are you willing to take the chance? I'll tell you! Please, just, just make it stop! He's on a ship in Gotham Bay! What ship? Uh, the Lady of Dublin. The missiles are there too. This is where they're launched from. You're, you're crazier than he is! Oh. Oh, god damn. The Lady of Dublin. Get back up and meet me there. Batman. Gordon's still gonna be pissed you went around him. But I appreciate you holding back. Agency we found him. Really thought you couldn't stand me. 
Your interrogation of Riddler's man produced solid intelligence. No sight of the missiles yet, though. They must be here somewhere. Hostages. They appear to be more of Waller's agents. Agents of Vesta and Blake are likely among them, based on what Waller told us. Your agency has been on my heels far too long. I'll give it to you. You're relentless. A good spot for cover. I'll you're satisfying to get my revenge on your pieces. Even if you're really just a small part of my plan. What are you talking about? You'll see what I mean soon. Might be angry I brought you here, but when they Wait understand why, it. they'll recognize my brilliance. Don't want him raising an alarm. I'll move when he is looking. Picture. It's often a struggle making people see that. You think? I'm sure you can understand. I get it. Sometimes my methods can be a little unorthodox. Careful. I know. You're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online now. Ready, Bruce. I can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Oh. Oversized vermin! Batman! Batman! Agent Avesta. The floor! It's heating up! Playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Poor Eli held out longer than I expected, but I knew he'd give me up eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Maury. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. I heard a lot of people doing what I do. My code is how I stay human. <laughs> it's why I'm out here, and you're in there. About to meet your maker. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. The hero who doesn't have to compromise will die knowing he couldn't save everyone. 
Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! I'm not playing your sick game, Riddler. Ah, but I can't make you, of course. People will die if you don't. Including the agent next to you. You can handle the sonic blasts. But her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the Bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure, kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die otherwise. Speak up, Batman. Which one of your dead friends am I? Need a hint? Starts with the letters L and F. Well, who am I? What the hell is wrong with you, Riddler? You're sick. Wrong answer! Oh, please! That wasn't his answer! Abasco, please! Please! Blake! Oh my god, Blake! Number two. Also, completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think he means me. Say it. I need an answer. Just say it. Or click, click, click! You're too clever for me, Riddler. I don't know how to answer. Finally, some humility from you. It's, it's a shame it's not what I'm looking for. No! <laughs> Patrick! No. Enough, Riddler. You made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast! I'll fire one of the missiles. Use the bad cam to make it hard to the cage. Use Riddler's trap to protect Iman and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear from. Missile armed, ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. Definitely not you. What are you doing? Don't you? You, you don't impress me. You might have bought yourself some time with that trick. But I had backup on the way. You're still going to die. Just like everyone else who spars with me. You think you beat me? I'll show you. Who 
Who's the man who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman. be happening! Clever, don't you? You... You... Who's the man? Who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman. be happening! Batman, I... Blake and I tracked Riddler's ship through the Port Authority logs. We thought we could bring him in ourselves. Riddler snatched us straight off the docks. I should have said no. Urged caution. And now... And now my colleagues are... All we did was hand Riddler more hostages. We only made things worse. What were you thinking? Going after Riddler without backup. You knew how dangerous he was. I know. But we were so close. I wanted to catch him so badly. After everything he'd done. It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Is this really a victory for you, Batman? You're the one in cuffs. Yeah, but you're the one that broke your precious rules. You let one agent die to save another. <laughs> well, that can't sit right with you. Can it? Must be an uncomfortable feeling. 
I did what I had to do. To save Gotham from you. I don't regret it. Agents diced into pieces? Another crying her eyes out? If you could stomach that, maybe I was wrong about you, Batman. Maybe you can fight in the gutter after all. I pushed the Batman to his limits. Tested his precious code. Uh, and my comrades would have been impressed. I set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They, they betrayed me. They didn't come. Your comrades thought you went too far. I saw their messages. They were afraid your stunts would get my attention. They were right. They'll regret this. All of them. Unless... Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. the ship down. A radio for more medics. But... Riddler, is he... Oh, God damn it. I hope it was worth it, Batman. Worth it? Riddler's a damned corpse. Waller's agents are dead. We're not getting a shred of usable testimony out of Eli Nabel. Not after you scared him half to death in my custody. You went behind my back with Waller and buried the investigation in the process. This... This is beyond the goddamn pale. What were you thinking? How could you undermine me like that? Don't take it so personally, Jim. I had to go through your suspect to get to Riddler. Leaving me with a police brutality lawsuit and a PR mess. The trust between us, it's gone. Our partnership is over. No more sharing evidence. No more squad car backup. The GCPD can't support you anymore. You're being unreasonable, Gordon. You need my help protecting Gotham. If what happened at the precinct is protecting Gotham, I want no part of it. I just want to know how we got to such a messed up place. You're supposed to be the one with the answers, Commissioner. Way I see it, Batman took initiative getting a confession from Nabel. You on the other hand, Gordon. Well, you've been two steps behind Riddler from the start. That is not fair! This mess here? That's on you. Batman's had his priorities straight, but you... Now wait a damn minute! Your stonewalling the agency has screwed us all! You think you could have done better? way I see it. There's one less bad guy in Gotham. I don't know whether I could have done better. I do know you could have. If we'd have been working together from the start. Why, you... Not another word, Commissioner. Consider it a kindness I don't just straight up get you demoted. Now leave us alone. We have sensitive case details to discuss. <laughs> you two deserve each other. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. 
You've come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. Do your own dirty work, Waller. You'll get nothing from me. That's a real shame. No one's better suited for this job than you. Evidence in his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line. And knows exactly when to cross it. Yes. You and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne.
A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And since you've been doing right by me, I'll continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You shouldn't see me as an adversary. I don't trust you, Waller. You or your agency. Well, you're gonna have to start. If I cared to reveal your identity, it'd be on every news channel by now. You need to trust me, Batman. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I understand. You think I work for you? You're not working for me. We're working together. After all, we both want the same thing. Am I right? What the oh. hell? <laughs> Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. Those bastards get their hands on our weapons. This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Then go already. Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege.
whatever you want with me. Hey, shut it. You got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. I don't know, 10 or 12 maybe? The really big one, he, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. Well, but you fight alone, you will die alone. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead, Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. And then. This one is mine. Huh? <gasps> 
Nothing to fear, my friend. Keep your eyes open. Don't let anyone follow you to the warehouse. Don't worry, we'll hit the back of the guys. Safe travels, my friend. Batman! Batman! And say something if you can hear me! Gordon... Christ... Batman... Come on, help me! It won't move! Batman, we're going to need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! Jesus Christ! Come on! The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. The entire GCPD arsenal raided? Every single armored personnel carrier stolen? With those and the hardware they stole? Christ, I don't want to think about it. I just want to know who these sons of bitches are. There's only one of them that matters. He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. They need to be found. I'm already taking orders from Waller. I gotta take it from you, too? So that's how it is. It's your job to keep the people of this city safe. Yes, it is. Put whatever manpower we can spare on the search for those armored vehicles. In the field and watching CCTV feeds. Yes, sir. You know, I'm still mad as hell at you. Why? Interrogating that Riddler goon without my damn consent. 
I only agreed to work with you because I thought you were a man of principle. Someone who wanted to step out of the shadows and into the light. I don't know what's going on with you and Waller, but you've changed. It's like I don't even know who you are anymore. Waller, she has something on me. Jesus, Batman, what? No, wait. Tell me later. I've already got enough to worry about. I just want you to know, whatever Waller's got on you, we'll get through this together. I've got your back. Thanks, Jim. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. What happened? I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham Brokerage House when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Agent Avesta, you should be resting. There will be time for that later. I wanted to thank you properly for saving my life. I wouldn't be here without you. It's the job. It's what I do. You can dismiss it if you want, but I won't. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I know you called Gordon because you have history, but this is exactly what the Director and her resources are here for. Working with Waller will be the fastest way to stop these murderers before anyone else gets hurt. Consider that. You should go take care of yourself. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I thought you'd be used to seeing me fly through walls by now. No one gets used to that. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Trying to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. I need your strength right now. Of course. Sorry for not being my resolute self. 
We've never gone up against anyone able to cause you so much harm. Waller is right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Oh. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead. Some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they bought that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric! Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown, and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Alfred, you should know better than to... <sighs> underestimate me. Maybe you have a point. Even so, we can't just wait for them to strike again. The death toll is already too high. Waller might have been right. Some problems might be better solved by Bruce Wayne. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. I'll have to repay John's trust with betrayal. You wouldn't have to betray him if he didn't associate with criminals. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. They'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. I'm sure you'll figure out something. You've only been putting on an act for most of your adult life. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Hopefully the invitation is still open. Good thing you hid that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance.
I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Dude, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of... Sh oh, uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh... Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad ever <laughs> happens to Bruce Wayne. Yeah, besides the whole dead parents thing. Bruce! Uh, uh don't mind Willie. Just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. What? That wasn't me, John. Do you have... Other people that would want to find you? I don't think so. Not until now. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. <laughs> Coming off the meds, you know, is sometimes there's a, a little residual paranoia. So... really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I wouldn't have blamed you. Riddler deserved everything he got. Why, Bruce? Seems like you hated him even more than I did. Maybe you pulled the trigger. Wouldn't that be a guess? <laughs> Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. As I recall, you had some reluctance. I've been thinking, and I changed my mind. I'd like to meet them now. Really? You seem pretty against it at the church. Why the sudden change of heart? It's odd doesn't seem like you. Doesn't really add up. After Lucius's funeral, I realized you only get one life. I gotta make the most of it. I need some excitement. Oh, Bruce, believe me, I can relate. In Arkham, excitement of any kind was seriously frowned on. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. That's 
should have told you. I just, I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. Pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. Okay, fine. You're right. I'll leave him be. Go away, Willie. What are you... Screw you! Nobody <laughs> disrespects me! No one's making a fool out of Willie! Not even you, John! Stay away from him. Perfect. <laughs> oh, what a lovely violence. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Willie had a problem, and we took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. All right, freak show. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Better get out of here. <laughs> Hey, handsome. I'm your friend before you go. You're following me? Waller just wants to remind you. Stay on the clown and get to Bane. Whatever happens, keep your eye on the clowns. Bruce, be careful. Whatever you're feeling, just shut it down. You don't need it. I thought you'd be happy for me. Like, like maybe we could have a nice moment, you know? Between friends. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but... Uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her. I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. At least it worked before. It, it did, I promise. I could just buy you a car, you know, something with an actual key. Uh, this works, it's just a matter of trial and error. Just one sec. There we go. around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. 
give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Harley? Stay out of this pudding. Grown-ups are talking. Well, you got a reason I shouldn't put a bullet in your noggin? Trust me, you don't want to do that. The mess will be awful. Maybe I like mess. No, brains are like red wine. The stain never comes out, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> Since when did you ever scrub a damn thing? I'm <laughs> just joshing you, rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Oh, trust me, I'm laughing my ass off. On the inside. Oh, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, sad way you lost your folks. Wooden said you didn't want to meet. Now you want to. Bouncing around like a yo-yo don't exactly inspire confidence. What do you want with what do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. Excitement, huh? Mr. Silver Spoon needs some new toys? Oh, you, you should have seen the way he took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He's a force to be reckoned with. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega. And get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I ask myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old Puddin'. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? You shouldn't. You can't trust anyone. Not in our line of work. Ain't that the truth? You know what I expected. Still, you gotta show me you got what it takes to be part of our... Pact. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. You just made my day, Bruce! I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Oh, 
my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Cross my heart. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking, is everything okay? I believe that's my name on the building, which means I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh. Well, of course not, Mr. Wayne. I, I didn't... You're checked in, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am? This is private property. <laughs> you really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucie. You do. You know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior. Give me a hard time. Mm, I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked out will teach him a lesson. Did anyone see you do that? A uh, fancy joint like this probably has cameras. I hope they got my good side. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. Yeah, Harley figured you'd want some company. 
Didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? Of course. Glad you could join me. Welcome to Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> Thanks, sugar. All this is yours, huh? Kind of blue. Our place has way more personality. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens, the power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. You think I could do it? Not a chance in hell. What he's saying, Pud, is you ain't a suit and tie kind of guy. He don't think you got the chops. It's because of my time in the asylum, isn't it? People are just so damn racist. I wonder why. <laughs> Pull it together, Puds. All that slushy you drink has got you. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. They're fashion consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place! Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. <laughs> oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? It's like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. Leave her alone. I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> Your friends don't suit you, Bruce. Mm -mm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Anytime, anywhere. Just say the word. Oh boy. It is getting hot in here. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what we're doing here. We've got a job to do, remember? We'll get to it, Pud. Don't get your panties in a twist. Wait here, I'll be right back with you. Forget me. it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Tight 
squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. More. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol Vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Oh, no, he's not going to like that at all. Or you. L let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! Alright, that's a start. Celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Getting there. Prince should do it. I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Stay there. Don't touch 
anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? It's for emergencies. In case Wayne Enterprises is ever attacked. Terrorism, invasion from a foreign power. This is for some kind of paramilitary use? And you're some kind of survivalist, right? I came looking for answers, but I didn't expect this. You're in much deeper than I thought. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, no need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? You don't have to say anything to her, John, okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey now, no need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Come on, Bruce. You know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hands. Yoo-hoo! What the hell is going on in there? Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me, please. It's a little too late for that. Oh, well. Ah! Ah! Tiffany! Well, how about that? Looks like Brucey boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kind of like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? Or am I gonna have to find out the hard way? We grew up together. You could say she's family. You know family of mine. Oof, Bruce. Your friend seems a little hot under the collar. <coughs> Certainly, as your fire, Bruce. Or should I say, your spark. You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab! I whacked a bunch of people in my time, Sugar. But I don't think your old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the names. I can't believe you'd associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, Brucey? Came to us because you got bored of being a billionaire. Now you want to be part of the family, don't you? At least that's what you've been saying. I'm nothing like you, Harley. I'm not a murderer. That's not what I wanted to hear. Not at all. 
Let her go. It wasn't about her. It was about seeing where he stands. Go easy on him, Harley. Bruce is loyal. He got us the key. He found it in the vault. Right on the counter. Hmm. Is that a fact? Maybe we don't need to kill ya. At least not yet. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I was certain she was going to kill her. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. You know what she's like? She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. She shouldn't be left guessing. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replaced tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. Fix it now, Alfred. Whatever you have to do, just... I don't have time to worry about it. Uh, yes, of course, I'll figure something out. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane, but this whole adventure with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful and good luck. things will kill you. Consider quitting. Ah, you sound like my daughter. Here, you're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from sealed records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but... I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Save your sympathy for her victims, Jim. The woman is a menace. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. 
He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. What does she have on you? You're gonna tell me at the arsenal? What the hell is it? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I I'll do whatever I can to help you. Stay out of this, Gordon. I don't need your help. Uh, this isn't right. None of it. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job, or you don't. You're absolutely right. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know. Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. Her enthusiasm almost got her killed. It didn't, though. Because of you. That's the part you need to focus on. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. Putting a tail on me jeopardizes the mission. Call it off. You're right. I will. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. If we do this, I want to guarantee that no one gets killed. No one dies. No one has to join murder gangs run by maniacs either. Look, I know your code against killing, but I won't risk my agent's safety for a band of sociopaths. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. 
just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Now, welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. Seems like the Prince of Gotham is more like an empty suit. I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing scheme. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? John! <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's Freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? <laughs> You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to... Clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us, back at your office. I don't blame you, after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit, and, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. 
your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. No apology necessary. All in good fun. Fun? You seemed pretty cut up about it at the time. I wouldn't blame you if you were mad, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. Sounds shady to me. I prefer a more straightforward approach to dealing with my colleagues. We ain't dealing with just any old regular type colleagues here jawing over the water cooler. But I get your meaning. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential, but he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. So what's in it for me? What's my cut? <laughs> what do you need a cut for? I thought you said you were in this for thrills. Believe me, honey. You're gonna get them in abundance. As for what we're up to, all will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. That no-neck asshat pain, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. Listen, I know about your father, about how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? No, I, I just simply thought you might want someone to listen. I... <laughs> That's real goddamn presumptuous of you. I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. It wasn't exactly a secret in Arkham, Harley. People talk, especially when they're out of their minds on meds. That's right. Your stint in the loony bin. Still friends? Yeah. Still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just... don't bring it up again. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead. Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. This just made him into such an angry person. You know? That's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. 
I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. about your wife and I kill me out I might be able to help what do you mean you'll answer me if you're smart and understand the concept of self-preservation what you're doing well that kind of love is rare my wife followed your goings on in the society columns Wayne you are more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Sent to prison. What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? It's what I do for my friends. I don't have friends. People, then. It's what I do for my people. How very vague. I almost fell for it. You don't care about mine, Nora. You only care about yourself. An empty suit. The sooner you're gone, the better. What would Harley need with an EMP? I can't risk tampering with it. Hoping to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch, Wayne. What the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. It's always so good to see you. Like, so good. 
Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office, and uh, making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. You know, Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? <laughs> when it looked like Bane might kill you, I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. Well, then I owe you my life, John. It's what pals do. I know you do the same for me. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Hey, Bruce! Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. You look thirsty. Please, come. Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I bombed their building, killed their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know. Are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I wanted, I already got. He did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find. Especially after Riddler's death. Yes. Men you can trust. So hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Fate! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it!
<laughs> Very good, Wayne. Very Maybe you do have what it takes to join our pack. The package is moving! What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? Or out? The aristocrat is not afraid to dirty his hands. I say we add him to the pact. In. Wayne is as shallow as his reputation would lead you to believe. He would only drag us down. Out. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And Where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hind! We are close. Make your device ready. Will do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah? What? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh-huh. What? No. You oh. are providing our escape. Yeah, Waller. Sure. On the move with targets. Yeah. Track no, this signal. No Get your people here. Now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. <laughs> now we do this. Wait, what in the... I gotta say, Bruce, now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Wayne! Do it! What was that? What the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? My gun, it's fried! All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp! Secure the vehicle! You're outmatched. Nobody has to die here. Your place is on the perimeter. Keep watch. Yeah, yeah. Freeze! Open the door. Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. Allow no sudden moves and no problem. Ah! 
strike it. Go on, quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. Back off, or I'll shoot. No, no, no! Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. You're not done here, Wayne. I would not turn my back on you. I leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Man, seize the cargo. Get out of here. Back there, Brucey boy. You really know how to show a girl a good time. Have your fun now. Oof, the Iceman bummeth. If Bane survives, you'll make us all pay for abandoning him. Bane will survive, and he won't let this sink. Nice, probably having a ball. Cracking skulls. We did what we had to do. We retrieved the package, and Harley drove off to make sure we kept it. You tell him. You're all welcome. 
All right. We got the package. Be grateful you're around to see it. <laughs> Intrigued, Brucey? Wanna know what's inside? Go on. Open it. think when he was alive you really put us through a lot of trouble mr. smarty pants getting yourself killed like that we needed you for the next stage I've got what you need for the right price
I wear the mask in order to protect this city. But when faced with a new breed of criminals calling themselves the Pact, the direct approach was met with disaster. I had to don a different mask. As Bruce Wayne, I infiltrated their ranks. The plan was to get in, set the trap, and get out. But the plan failed. Now they're one step closer to their goal. And all I have are questions. What is the pact really after? Why steal Riddler's body? Friend or foe? Nice place you got here. Did it come with the vermin? Or did you add that yourselves? It's a little run down, but the rent is right. This everyone? Riddler said you had a luchador in the mix. Bang! Oh, he came down with the case of the left behinds. Oops. <laughs> we are the entirety of our cabal at the moment. Oh, this gentleman was someone we picked up after Riddler's departure. Bruce Wayne. Bruce, was it? Charmed. Be gentle. This is Mr. Wayne's first foray into the field of felonry. Criminal virgin, huh? I won't hold it against you. We've actually crossed paths. How? I may have stolen a thing or two from Mr. Wayne. He has so much, I just didn't think he'd notice. You got the toy we talked about, beautiful? Get the Lady Sparkleys out of the safe, John. She ain't doing this out of the goodness of her heart like the rest of us. Brucie, be a doll and give Kitty a hand. I ain't touching that popsicle. I got some thinking to do. Oh, well, let's get to... What are we doing? Well, we're going to... extricate the body. Riddler built a secret back door into the security system of his old employer. I need to scan his eyes and then create a retinal key for them. Then I'll use the key to make goggles, and we can open whatever doors he could. Help me lift. This wasn't the original plan. He was supposed to be alive, but... Things change. Get his head in a good position. That's far enough. Dig the plates under his lids. Press the button and scan away. Ugh, that's gross. What the hell did they do to him? And what's with the refrigerator coffin? Why would the agency transport him like this? This doesn't add up, Bruce. Bruce, I'm sorry about Lucius. I'm guessing it wasn't a gas leak or whatever the news said. You're right. Riddler killed him. But it was meant for me. Damn it, Bruce. I'm... This isn't all on you. On to the next. I didn't know what I'd be walking into with this group, but I certainly didn't expect it to involve you. And I know you're no stranger to peril, but you shouldn't be here. So, what gives? Well, shouldn't be that much of a shock. My father was a crime lord. Apples and trees and all. Glad to know you've grown more comfortable with lying since we last met. You're not the only one with questions. One question. Make it fast. Did you... Did you come back for me? Yes, Bruce. Because the world revolves around you. I'm amazed you can fit that big head of yours under your little criminal cap. You done? 
His peepers never looked so good. John, pay the lady. Don't spend them all in one place. You get the rest when we're inside. That wasn't the deal I made with Riddler. Take it up with him. Harley! You'll find I'm not disposed of so easily! You overstepped when you left him. And now it's time to pay the price. No. Oh, this one's actually got some brains. <laughs> Everyone else better be smart, too. You! Ah, ah, ah. You are a means to an end. When this is over, did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming, because a little rat told them. They was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me from getting what I want. This leak... It nearly caused the demise of Gotham's favorite luchador. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And whoever it is, is gonna find their inside suddenly al fresco. That make you nervous, Bruce? What do you have to say? Don't threaten me. Careful, Bruce. You're valuable, but not irreplaceable. Remember that. It's not way! Excuse me, peanut gallery? You got something to say? Wayne pulled his own out there. Saw it with my own two eyes. I ain't gonna let a good effort go unnoticed. Then, let's get back to work! If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. Hmm. <laughs> Lead us to our prize, and all will be forgiven. Wayne! Come here a second. Hey, I didn't need your help. <laughs> okay, buddy. You know, for a second, I thought you might not be a high and mighty billionaire above all us roughnecks. Uh, thanks for the insight. Hiya, Bruce. Guess you're clear. For now. Because apparently you're so capable. I got an errand for ya. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job. Took the secret to his grave. Now I got his laptop. But look at this. And keep your yap shut. Can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. It's encrypted! It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. This is where you come in. Seems like that's a Harley problem. You don't get it, do ya? My problems are your problems. That's the way it works. Riddler had a beef with his former employers, who are cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. And what is it we're after, this super fun stuff? You ask a lot of questions, you know that? I've been able to piece together most of his plan, except where the Black Site is. You're gonna find the location. And when you do, maybe you'll get a treat. A sweet, delicious little treat. You're asking me to do something with little or no information to go on. And when I asked you for some kind of clarification, you dodge. 
Did you see what just happened? I'm in charge here. That means when I ask you to bring me something, you deliver it. No questions asked. See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So, I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. I might need some help. That place is full of death traps. Take John with you. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Road trip? With Bruce? I mean... Actually, I was thinking Catwoman. After all, she knew him. Mm, good point. Take a two. I'll grab some snacks. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Cat lady, are you more of a beef jerky or trumpet-shaped corn by its girl? <laughs> Why am I even asking? I'll bring both. Well, there's never a dull moment with John around. Why do I get the feeling that's not a good thing? Who's ready to hit the road? Who are you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? You are. But don't worry, Bruce is my best friend. He'd never betray me. Oh, sweet, innocent pudding. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I call shotgun. I want that black site location. I believe this is where he decided to set up shop. It wasn't like him to slum it. I always thought the abandoned water tower was an odd choice. I mean, the mold risk alone. It's not the abode of a man who asked me to steal a Renoir, that's for sure. Catwoman, you need to find us a way in. My specialty. Come on, John. You're with me. Yes! Our first team up! We need to talk. Listen about the convoy. We couldn't get to you safely. The EMP blast knocked out my ability to communicate with my field agents. I'm sorry. It obviously wasn't supposed to go down like that. Well, innocent people died because of your notion. You think I don't know that? Those maniacs butchered my agents. My friends! I can't take losses like this. I need to lean on you even more now, Bruce. You being inside. It's our best hope. Well, now they have Riddler's body. It was cryogenically frozen. By the agency. Bruce, this was a 60-year-old man who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman. I have some very interested researchers who wanted to see what kept him ticking. Wait, wait. Uh, I got the punchline wrong. Uh, let me start off. It's fine, John. Bruce, are you there? Doc, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> <laughs> the perimeter is boarded up, but it's nothing we can't get through. Lead the way. Just have to get through these boards. Don't worry, I brought my key. Hey, I believe in you, John. You show that wall who's boss. Hey, Bruce, I have an idea. Why don't you jimmy it open? Who's 
Who's there? Don't move! Wait a minute. I know you. You're Bruce Wayne. Uh, guilty is charged. Want to explain what you're doing out here? This isn't exactly the heights. Back off, Detective. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. It sure as hell is my business. I'm the goddamn police and you're breaking the law. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Detective... Bullock. Detective Bullock, right. Uh, look, there's... actually a very good reason for all of this. Stay right there, Jerkwad. I'm calling this in. I've been asked to report any suspicious activity around here, and you're acting suspicious. Listen to me, you do that, and you'll be ending your career. I'll take my chances. Bruce freaking Wayne. Unbelievable. I wouldn't even be working tonight if I didn't eat the extra dough. But maybe this will make me look good with the boss. Noise. Can I do it again? I want to record it for my own time. No, John. Let's go. He won't be out for long. Come on. Let's get moving. like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Me too. Look, there's no sense in fooling yourself. People are who they are. Cherry Worldview. Someone once told me I was nothing more than a thief. I guess that's all I'll ever be. You knew him best. Where do you think he'd keep any info on what we're after? Well, not to state the obvious, but... It's probably behind a riddle or a puzzle somewhere. Oh, I call the downstairs bedroom! <laughs> Careful, John. This place is probably a death trap. Follow him, Bruce. I don't want John's curiosity to get us killed. I'm getting really tempted to touch something! <laughs> hey, Bruce, I've been wanting to talk to you. Alone. You have? I don't like how cozy Catwoman was with Riddler. Because he was a killer? Because he was rude to me! We need to stick together. Trust this kitten one bit. You know what they say about a black cat crossing your path. No, she's nice once you get to know her. Right, let's agree to disagree, but I'll keep my peepers peeled for both of us. your hand. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. There's something under here. Some kind of platform. Hey, 
handcart. Wonder what he was moving. Let me help you out there, Bruce. I don't want you to bend your cummerbund. the second inevitably follows. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. Work, sleep, death. A little grim. A little boring what it is. <laughs> oh, you're not ready to die just yet. Oh, wait. Yes, you are. <laughs> Sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here. truly understand my mind, you must first walk a mile in my... Well, certainly you know the rest. Be careful what you said on those. This is where he built his boxes. So why are you really here? I said I'd tell you when we're alone. We're not. I'll tell you later. How'd you and Riddler first meet? You know, I do a lot of... freelance work. Let me guess, Riddler wanted a painting from the Louvre? <laughs> Without bragging too much, it was an easy job. Huh. After all, I'd already robbed the place twice. He became a valuable contact when money was tight. I'm just curious if you... Yes? If you missed me. John is right downstairs. Yes or no? Answer the question.
Not one bit. of it. We can't all get lobster thermidor on a whim. I take you by night. By day, take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. <laughs> that sounds positive. Riddler's bed couldn't look less comfortable if he tried. Tesla coils. This whole place is an electrical death cage. If these start sending out energy, we'll all fry. It looks like you've got both feet in the grave. You hear that? It's like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe... You could stay? Oh no! Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Uh, John, could you give us a moment? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, gotcha! Something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, now that we have a moment, care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. What's going on? I'm undercover. For yourself? <laughs> Isn't Bruce Wayne kind of always undercover? Or is it the other way around? No, yes, I'm... Undercover working with a group called the Agency. Let me get this straight. You're partnered up with someone? I hope they meet your high moral standard. I didn't come back to Gotham to start up this dance again. But seeing as how both our lives are on the line, let's try to be professional. We can work together. For now. If we have to. You can relax. This is only business. We're here to find the black side, remember? Good. Great, actually. Thank you. 
Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. Who knows? The world's a complicated place. You're better than that. You once told me I was nothing more than a thief. So this is... surprising. Yoo-hoo! Can you two get a move on? Playing guard is getting pretty boring. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. But we've got a job to do, remember? Let's just see what this is all about. something nearby we can use. Didn't Riddler carry one of these in Europe? He did, but they were purely aesthetic. I think it might be a trap. Maybe. But we already made it past the line of security, so... Maybe not. Your certainty is assuring. USB drive. Detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Project Lotus. Sanctus. Retinal scan required. Uh, shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. Hephaestus protocol enacted. The decryptor! You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, they're a group up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well, there's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up. I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius. This is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. What are you doing? Balancing the scales. You are not leaving here with that. Oh, honey. I'm already gone. as always. You haven't gotten past me yet. Slow down a bit! You're coming out blurry! I forgot how 
skilled you are with your hands. <laughs> laptop for myself and I'm finishing this my way <clears throat> Harley's laptop huh you and I were going to talk somewhere else So, John, about the laptop, um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces, maybe I will. And maybe I'll do just that. Then she remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. And how do you think Harley feels about snitches? She told me to snitch. I think she likes them. Well, it, mm, maybe not. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? I guess you could say she's my Harley. I'm not sure she's good for me, but I just can't seem to get away from her. You stop right there, Bruce Wayne. I'm tearing up. Look at this couple of weeping willies over here. <laughs> Drowning our sorrows in caffeine and sugar. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley. You want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> I see. You're up to bat then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? How can I make her see me? People aren't as complex as you make them out to be. Harley's smart, but she's still human. She can be manipulated just like anyone else. Anyone, huh? How does one go about performing this magic trick? Find a problem they have, and then make sure they think you are the only one who can solve it. Once they have to rely on you, they're yours. <laughs> We're social animals, John. Might as well exploit it. How do you know what makes them tick? Too bad you can't just open them up and take a look. You just need to talk to them. Just... They'll reveal themselves soon enough. Give them something small about yourself. Something insignificant that maybe they already know, but you act like it's a confession. And then you watch the floodgates open. I see, I see. 
Yeah, that reminds me. Did I ever tell you I was locked up in a mental hospital? Not too long ago, either. Nice try. I've learned that manipulation can take on many forms. Some of them more subtle than others. Tell me more. Tell me everything. Get inside their head. Once you know how they think, you know what they want. And you use that. You know, one of the doctors in Arkham tried to get in here. Wait, wait. I have an idea. Let's try it out. First thing that comes to your head, what do you see? But don't think, let your gut guide you. Mm-hmm, it's a napkin with coffee stains on it. Stubborn, just like me, that's what I said. But then I realized I wouldn't get any help from the doctor by being such a stick in the mud. You're an interesting case study, Mr. Wayne. I think you might be a danger to yourself and others. <laughs> it's what Dr. Leland would always say to me. <laughs> now, this one. What do you see? Well, it looks like a ladder. I can see that. The ladder doesn't care if you're going up or coming down. It just is. Kind of like the universe in general, right? So, what else are we to do but have some fun along the way? What an illuminating evening this has been, Bruce. I feel like we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Let's try just one more. John. Sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Oh, I'm sorry, Bruce. There's a line, and that's beyond it. I mean, she's like... And you're like Bruce. Tell you what, though. Coffee's on me. Bruce? Expecting Waller. Sorry to disappoint. So, what happened? Where were you? What do you mean? The agency convoy? All those freaks were in one place and you decide not to show? Oh, I didn't like you. You don't take time off. So what kept you? I was there, Jim. You just didn't see me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, let them get away pretty easily. I guess I can't really talk. We got there late. But then it was just pain. He still beat us to a pulp and got away. Is that all? Uh, no. No, I... I got a favor to ask. Lucius Fox. I know Riddler tried to pin his death on you, but I had to ask myself, why would Riddler be so hell-bent on killing him in the first place? Did Fox have some kind of deal with him? Uh, there's more going on here. I know it. Maybe this Fox guy wasn't such an angel. Know what I mean? Not entirely. Fox. 
think carefully about your next words, Jim. I've been thinking about them since the moment I threw that switch. Riddler had it out for Lucius Fox, and I'm sure there's something more. The way you're pushing back on this only confirms that. Waller shut down any investigation into the circumstances surrounding his death. And that means something stinks in Denmark. He could follow that stench all the way to Fox's employer. Look, just how much do you really know about Bruce Wayne? I see where you're going with this, but you're on the wrong trail. Bruce Wayne is helping you. Yeah, well, if he's helping us, he has a real funny way of doing it. At first, I thought Fox was at the center of it all. But there's a hell of a lot more. A Wayne Enterprises security guard comes to GCPD saying he was assaulted by Harley Quinn and her gang. And who was leading her around like a pet? Bruce Wayne. Then I checked the video recordings. Someone did an amateur job covering up the security footage. Files were replaced, time unaccounted for, sloppy. And strike three? One of my officers gets bashed in the head while he goes into Riddler's old workshop. Bruce Wayne is dirty and he's dangerous. Waller knows all of this happened too, and she refuses to let me move on it. So I need you to bring him in. That's the favor. I can't do it, but you can. I can keep an eye on Bruce Wayne. Damn it, I'm not asking for an eye. I want him delivered, here, with a little bow. Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it. I know your friend Catwoman's in town. Got a rap sheet that'll put her away for life. Maybe I can't move on Bruce Wayne, but I can move on her. I should have done this a year ago. Dropping threats and walking away. You've hit a new low gem. Yeah, I'll learn to live with it. As soon as I get back to the office, I'm sending out a task force after her. And you, you better not tell her we're coming. He sounds like he's on a ball path. If I warn Selene and she gets away, Gordon and the police will blame me. But if I don't, I put her in danger. Don't forget that you're both after that laptop. Gordon might be your best chance to slow her down. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. Damn it. Gordon has gone too far this time. I can't help but have sympathy for a man trying to do what is just. He feels as if Gotham is slipping out of control. And it is. You know, Miss Kyle is going to run sooner or later. It's her nature. How much can you really trust her as an ally? I know how you feel about her. Make certain you aren't letting that cloud your judgment. We both want to take down the path. That I know for certain. Allies are in short supply these days. I know you've worked together in the past, but the circumstances are different. You know what must be done. It's done, Al. I hope Gordon doesn't take it personally. I'm afraid he will. Don't go, Gordon. I've got a city to say. <laughs> Save it. 
What if I grew a mustache for you? Batman! Hi! Hello! So, uh, John. My name's John. John Doe. You don't know me. Well, we actually did cross paths once, but, uh... What did you overhear? I, I didn't hear anything. I just got here, I swear. Oh, this is just... What a pleasure. So nice to finally meet you. It's just a handshake. No. Uh-huh. Jeez, this is Arkham all over again. I'm just such a huge fan of yours. And here you are, in the flesh. <laughs> I'm looking for mentors, role models. I've come across a few good candidates. You're... you're Batman. <laughs> I don't take on students. Now hold on! Before you accept, here's what I bring to the table. I can get you Riddler's laptop. All his secrets, right there! And the gang who attacked the convoy, they needed to pull off a big score. The point. So what if I steal it from Harley Quinn, no less, and give it to you? But, uh, and, and, this, is, and this is a big but. I need you to promise nothing bad will happen to Harley. I mean, letting one criminal slip through the cracks every once in a while can't be the worst thing. Nothing will happen to her. You have my word. All right, good. I'm trusting you on this one. Now, when you're on the job, what's the preferred method of extracting a target? Always repelling in, or explosives as a distraction, or... You know what? I'll wing it. If I were you, I'd get a friend to help. That's a great idea! I hope Bruce is there. He'd do anything for me. Oh, one last thing! <laughs> I collect these. They mean a lot to me. What? What the? No pictures. Laptop behind the stack deck. Well, I hope you weren't counting on a specific time because, you know, that's what I use my phone for. You speak, but all I hear are lies! You dishonor yourself, Timothy. If you are the rat, then wear it proud! I would have respect for that, and with respect comes mercy. Greetings, Wayne. Come with me. As a fellow apostle of technology, I thought you might appreciate this. Vane and I were acquiring components for a device I'll need once we get to the black site. Device? Yes, an ice explosive for the fire failsafe we anticipate encountering. That isn't the impressive detail. As we ran into interference, I determined I would be more efficient if I made smaller versions and employed them as projectiles. Who were they? Hindrances. As you can see, it's been wildly successful. Perhaps Wayne Enterprises could benefit from my efforts. Impressive science, Freeze. You'll notice I don't do anything ineffectually, Mr. Wayne. Hear that, Freeze? Wayne, he's cut out for this life after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I thought as much after he took a pipe to one of my boys. <laughs> one more time, my friend. 
Why did an alarm go off when it was your job to ensure it didn't? Vane, come on. I, I slipped up. Dangerous time to make a mistake when you knew I was looking for it more. You're trying to slow us down! No! Look, I want to get paid just like you. I got mouths to feed. Then, when the police arrived, you were nowhere to be found. I... You know I'm no traitor. I stood up for you, remember? Come on, man. We have to stand together on this. Just think. Remember? I think Bane's on to something. You're the mole. The hell, man? You son of a bitch! It appears your time is up. What the hell is going oh, no, on here? No, 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 no! no. Ah! Merely plugging their leak. God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? Why are you complaining? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. I'm a trained psychiatrist. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got Yours? It? <laughs> I freed them from Santa Prisca. You just killed one. I only shot him. <laughs> Who do you think wins that recruitment war? They won't follow you! What do you want, John? Right. The laptop. I changed my mind. I'll help you. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? They know the cost. I value loyalty above all else. You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Just keep her busy. I have to sneak into her office to get it. Then, uh, it's all yours. Yep, getting it for my old buddy Bruce. And only you. Promise. Sound like a plan. Up top! Yes, that was a good one. Hey, you two. What's going on with you guys? Harley! What a surprise! You guys get me a black site location or not? The answer had better be yes, Harley. We didn't find the location to the black site yet, but we did uncover the code name for whatever you're after. Project Lotus. Ring any bells? And what is Project Lotus? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? You? You can't even keep these two from colluding. Pudding? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. I'm loyal, Harley. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Which is good for you, because you need help. The Mole, Bane's men, you maybe, possibly, potentially can't handle it alone. <laughs> I'm really... The only man for the job. Me, and only me. You, time out! And you, we need to talk. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? Come on, you can do it. Think hard. You mean your hammer? <laughs> Good guess. But no, it's John. 
You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. Alfred, get a suit ready for drop-off. Of course. Was your accomplice successful? Apparently not. What happened? Catwoman got here first. I was hoping you'd catch up to me. I hadn't had a chance to thank you for tipping me off about the GCPD. I didn't expect it. You really saved my ass. If it wasn't for you, the cops would have gotten the drop on me for sure. Don't expect it again. I put a lot on the line for you. Then I'll have to find a way to pay you back. The laptop. I need you to hand it over. You proved your point. Quite the coincidence that we find ourselves here again. What do you mean, again? We're on top of the mayor's old office. Harvey's old office. Feels like a hundred years ago, doesn't it? Since we had our first chase. So much has happened since then. You're stalling. Give me the laptop. Is that really the only reason you came here? You want it? Take it. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? Oh, come on. That was fun. I bring out that wild side of yours. The one you like to keep stuffed down in that suit. The side of you that's just... aching to break free. Yeah, it's a little crazy. But isn't that what you like about me? We both like to live on the edge. It's where we find each other. Maybe it is. Maybe you're just my kind of crazy. And maybe you're mine. Well, have a good night. Selena. Why'd you do it? Run off at Riddler's like that? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. For what they did to him. For what he did to you. And just, what are you offering me in return? You're a man of many resources. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Nothing. I could just take it from you. And I could tell Harley, Batman's right under her nose. People can do a lot of things. This is only going to last as long as it was fun, I suppose. And it's not fun anymore. Selena. Goodbye, Bruce. Good luck not being swallowed by your obsession like Riddler.
the laptop? And the glasses we need to get past the encryption. I can't blame you for keeping Ms. Kyle at arm's length. Not after the way things ended between you last year. Even so, I just wonder... Perhaps she might not be the worst thing for you. She may not be the most savory individual. She certainly is capable, and right now, capable is what we need. I can't help but think that we could use her help. Selina thinks she can charm her way through life. I'm done playing that game. You're clearly more than a toy to her. At least, that's how it looks from the outside. Why don't we keep our minds on Riddler's laptop? It was just a thought. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. Access granted. It appears it'll take a moment to scan for viruses and other safeguards. If you have a second, I have something to show you. I finished up a new feature for your contacts. Lucius nearly completed it before. But, well, I've been fiddling with it to keep myself occupied. At any rate, your contacts now have the capability to detect heat signatures. Cold, too, because well, with Mr. Freeze, you never know. Thanks. I'm sure it'll come in handy. <sighs> It's done. Sounds like the laptop is safe. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. Is this a medical facility or a prison? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look, manifest. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. A biological weapon. This is what Harley wants. Agency. My God, Bruce. We cannot let that virus fall into the hands of those maniacs. I will stop them now. How? Lucius is gone, Gordon doesn't trust us, and Selina, well, you certainly made sure she won't be coming to your aid. You keep distancing yourself. You need more support than just this old soldier. We're completely isolated. 
How are you supposed to deal with a threat this big without allies? I don't need help from anybody. If you really believe that, you're blind. You don't do this alone. So long as I live, you never will. I have the location of the Black Side. I need to get in there before Riddler's gang or the police do. Despite my reservations about her, I think it's time to reach out to Ms. Waller. I owe the pleasure of this call. The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... Is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the black site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you earlier. I needed to talk to you, but... You only have yourself to blame for this. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Now, now! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest. For armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Take your hands off me before I... Shut your mouth and stay down! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. I look to you for answers, for comfort after my father's death. Instead, you're running with a new crowd. Criminals? I hope you understand why I had to do this. It makes me question everything you've told me my entire life. It wasn't easy, but it had to be done. I don't get it. Having me arrested is completely absurd. Knowing what I know, it'd be absurd if you went free. What in the... Director Waller?! Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it! What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. And when you do, there'll be hell to pay. Oh, please, Gordon, stop embarrassing yourself. Pretend all you want. Officers, I know. please. He's involved. 
He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful of my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power and you know it. Waller! I said... Don't do this! Dismissed. Good riddance. Really, Bruce? You would say that after all I've done for Gotham? You tried to arrest me. And I was right to. But you... You should be ashamed of yourself. Leave, Gordon. Now. Time to go, Jim. We'll make sure Gordon leaves, and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Calling the cops was a bit much. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing, it's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous. But there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but you're just... Bruce. I'm Batman. You're Batman. The Batman. Come on. Got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. I'm dead. I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. It was hard to believe. But hearing it from him... Your father had an amazing, brilliant mind. And I have a feeling you were just as capable. Yeah. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. With Dad gone... Maybe I can still help. If Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. And I know my dad would be proud. <sighs> the way things are going right now... He could use a little help. Okay. I need to... Digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get to it then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with Black Ops experiments. Human subjects. 
The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. I'm not afraid of this, Waller. Sanctus facilities have top-of-the-line security, armed guards, surveillance, God only knows what else. Just to let you know what you'd be walking into. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the Agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. You two can't be serious. Harley, Bane, Freeze, no, they can't be trusted. We don't have to trust them. We trust you. For now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and a crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. No idea what's coming for them. It's possible they're in on it. Uh, you may be right, but there's no way to tell until you get in there. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. That access door is connected to the spa. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. That appears to just be a patron. This 
see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. This is definitely the place. Bodhi Spa. Good work, Bruce. He weren't exactly being subtle. lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes. I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best, to be honest. Lies insult us both. This is it. The black site Riddler wanted to hit. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. <laughs> Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD in an alleyway. With the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. Rice and shine. you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the black site. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. 
This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. I'm not scared. <laughs> False bravery will not save you, Wayne. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane! Tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? That sort of thing? You need to keep your people in line. Sometimes that means making hard choices. <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. And taking you for such a ruthless fella. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know. Hidden depths? Secrets? You don't want me to see? I also enjoy long walks on the beach. Hmm. <laughs> You're funny. Must have gotten that from your mother's side. You know my dad could be a funny guy too. And they all fell down To the deep to drown to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Might want to get those ears checked, Brucey. But it's nice to know I have a fan. Been running short of those lately. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black side, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But, you actually care for some people. Like that girl. What's her face, uh. Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh-faced and optimistic. How am I doing? No? No, I think it was Brittany. Sorry, I barely know her. <laughs> you're cute when you're front. You know that? I don't know if she's your friend or mortal enemy, but I know you care about her at least a little. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you seem to have made up your mind already. 
guess one of us has to be the mole. But you've already cleared me. Trying to make me second guess myself ain't gonna work, sweetie. Nice try, though. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat! <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Again. What? Hit me again. Take this. You hitting him already? I'll let it play. <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. You try to steal it. You can take the fall. Harley cares for you. She won't hurt you. Are you kidding me? She'd lance me like a boil. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. You know, Harley, she's not a mind reader. I'm sorry. I'm not as strong as you. Well... I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. I gotta guess it was Catwoman. I went to the safe, but it was already gone. And you were right there talking to Harley, so... I know you care about her, but... Yeah... All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. Please. It was Catwoman. She took your laptop. How do you know? She took a phone call at Riddler's. Bruce overheard her talking about it. I understand, Bruce. I'm disappointed, too. So much for the solidarity of sisterhood. <laughs> and here I was, starting to be a cat person. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like... Skin a cat. Did you think I was just gonna let her go or something? Fat frickin' chance. She's gonna get turned into one of Freeze's popsicles. I know cats don't like water, but how do they feel about ice? She has skills that can help us at the black side. Taking her out hurts all of us. You don't have to do this. I really, really do. Thought you'd see that. We're ready to move. Good. This'll just take a second. Get her inside. I've seen that look in your eyes before. On other men, just before they get themselves killed. Just throw 
are in one of Riddler's murder boxes. We have a black site to raid. Come on, Bruce. Time to raise some hell. War always carries a cost, and my war on crime is no different. The truth is, no matter how hard I fight, I can't save everyone. In order to maintain my cover with the Pact, I had to sacrifice Selena. I just hope I can explain myself to her one day. But first, I have to stop Harley Quinn and her crew from stealing a deadly virus. 
With it, they could carry out mass murder in Gotham on a scale the city has never seen. Just gotta take out one itty bitty god. Then we can get the rest of the gang inside. Time to paint this place red, Brucey boy. No, let me handle this. <clears throat> can I help you? Give you an A for effort, but a C for style. We're in. You losers gonna join the party or what? Did you run into trouble? <laughs> Nothing we couldn't handle. Be ready. More will come. He's always so serious. Be on the lookout for security measures. We can disable them from here. Nicely done, Brucey. Come on. The clock is ticking. Jeez. Lots of doors. Hey, should we, uh, just start opening them? Secret lab? Hey! <laughs> Not that one. Hey, hey, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold up. I think this is it. Then that's where we want to go. What is this? Watch closely. Oh good! I could use a little color. The dear departed Riddler's gonna help us out. Very clever. Come on, we're taking a ride. Just so we're all clear, this is a smash-and-grab operation. We smash the lab, grab the virus, and then we're gone. A virus? Sounds... dangerous and unpredictable. If used properly, it should allow me to cure my Nora. And I will be able to perfect the power of my venom. The virus can do all that? <laughs> this is so exciting! The moment we've all been waiting for! Ooh, we gotta get this one for the history books. <sighs> Make sure you get my good side. Okay, everybody. Say cheese. Come on. Squeeze in. Oh, look at those tough mugs. Nobody's gonna want to mess with us. <gasps> hey, mister! 
Which way to all your most dangerous toys? <laughs> Someone's being a bad boy. No! Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Chop, chop, boys. It's the last mile. Waller, I'm in. Good. We're on our way. Do not let the Pact get their hands on that virus, Bruce. I've got it under control. Talking to yourself, huh? John! It's, it's okay, Bruce. I talk to myself all the time. To be honest, my voices haven't been letting up lately either. I, I keep thinking this virus was the thing holding us all together. It's what made us stick. I, I, I don't know. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried once it's gone, Harley's just gonna just disappear. I just don't think I could take that kind of rejection. You know, when you invest so much into something, it practically becomes who you are. No matter what happens, I've got your back, John. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> Come on. Let's just get this over with. All right, John. Plug in the drive. According to Riddler's plan, we just gotta upload this little program into their system. Ugh. Weird. I, I don't think it's going to work, Harley. Seriously, Puds? All I asked you to do was be the tech guy. Congratulations! You're hired! Now let's get this show on the road. Chango. Whoa! Was that the expected result? Hang on, would ya? Now that's what Mama wanted to see. Hang on to that, Brucie. I can't afford any more mishaps. All right, let's get moving. The lab is this way. The enemy! Dead ahead! <laughs> 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 if these fools want to fight, I am more than happy to oblige. Heads up, fellas! You would be wise to get out of our way. I'll do the rest. Sit on your thumbs, boys. Move it! Nice moves, buddy. Bank! Up ahead! Don't let the barrier close! Get open, Bruce.
initiated emergency protocol. We'll be incinerated. I would advise you all to get down on the floor. Should have brought my scarf. Bruce, get the door. before I can destroy the virus. Thank <laughs> you. 
the samples! They'll be destroyed! You just signed your death warrant! Get rid of them, Bane! What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm doing what I want for once. Being my true self. <laughs> and it feels good. Yes! I've done it. I did it, Nora. Bye-bye, Brucey. Tiffany and tell her to get to the manor. Harley's escaped with the virus. Right away. Get me a proper lockdown crew in here, Stat. I want bioscans on Freeze. Do not let him out of that airlock. Move it, people! Good work here, Bruce. Well, you managed to stay close to them until the end, I'll give you that. But with Doe still loose in Gotham, and the Lotus virus in the hands of a psychopath, I'm not sure good is the word I'd use to describe what happened here. Oh, I could think of some more colorful words to describe this situation. It was up to your people to catch them. Or were you just running late again? Both of you, please. Sanctus, right under our noses all this time. Chemical weapons, human experimentation. Sanctus was... is... The darkest part of the Agency's history. Oh, this place is just... evil. And that's why we're shutting it down once and for all. We can take some of this equipment and put it to good use. This facility needs to be razed to the ground. I don't want so much as a trace of it left in my city. Why don't you let me worry about that, Wayne? Bruce, you need to get after Quinn and quick. She's out there with the virus, and that's a threat to Gotham we simply can't allow. Freeze must have an idea about where she'd go in these circumstances. <laughs> don't waste your time with that maniac. He'd say anything to throw us off track. But he's our best lead. Well, I disagree. Freeze is nothing more than a science experiment gone awry. You best keep your focus on Harley and the virus before anyone else gets hurt. That 
That was strange. She just completely shut me down. She's normally so open to all possible leads. This is so unlike her. Waller was out of line. She should know to trust your instincts. Usually she does. Listen, Director Waller may think it's a waste of time, but I say leave no stone unturned. I'll see what I can find out. Hey, Will, give me a hand with this, will you? I think there may be something we can salvage back here. Us. It couldn't possibly have been money. I fail to see what you have to gain. You need to be stopped. It's as simple as that, Victor. You don't fool me. You're Waller's lapdog and we both know it. From where I'm standing, it's Harley who betrayed you. She abandoned you, Victor. All of you. I need your help to find her. If you want me to tell you what I know about Harley, I'm going to need something from you in exchange. The agency intends to keep me prisoner with this virus living inside me. Given the chance, I could beat this just like Riddler. He became stronger for it. You're telling me that when Riddler worked here, he became infected with the Lotus virus? If he could survive it, I believe I can too. That dial, there, they've keyed it into the temperature regulators in the airlock. All I need from you is to turn that dial. Let my body do the rest. <sighs> If you want to know where Harley is, you'll keep me from being Waller's test subject. Lower the temperature in the airlock. I know that I can fight this. If that's what you want, I can do that for you, Victor. Tell me everything. Thank you, Wayne. I'm so glad you're agreeable. The truth is... The Lotus virus doesn't have to be this. Riddler's blood can turn the virus into something that can heal. That's why we stole his body. Why your friends in the agency had it on ice. My Nora will perish if I don't use Lotus to save her. Bane merely hoped to cure himself of his addiction. Harley already has the virus. Now, she needs a blood sample from Riddler's body. With it, she will have what she needs to create the serum. She will destroy anything that gets in her way. She'll go for the body first. That's how you will find her. I already have samples of the blood. Look for a temperature-controlled container. No. You have what you came for. Please, do as you promised. Harley's trying to make this serum. She'll go straight for Riddler's blood. I'm coming with you. The serum. 
secondary properties of this virus. The serum they want to make from it. I've got a feeling Director Waller didn't want us to hear that. Which would explain why she steered you away from Freeze. What is she up to, I wonder? She can't keep secrets from me. I always get to the truth. <laughs> I have no doubt. But don't worry about that now. If we hurry, we can intercept Harley at the lair. You probably shouldn't suit up for this. The less attention we draw to ourselves, the better. Suit up? Damn it. You don't know that I told Waller you were Batman, do you? Really? Are, are we... Are we all good? It's just... We never talked about it. I'd like to clear the air. Let's just say... I'll learn to live with it. Okay, then. We've got work to do. Lead the way. I should have seen this coming. She's become more and more erratic since she came to Gotham. I hardly know what she's going to do next. Harley? No. Director Waller. You say she can't keep secrets from you. I never thought she'd have reason to keep them from me. I have to admit, a part of me was sort of hoping we'd be taking the Batmobile. Not that this car isn't great. But, you know, it's no Batmobile. Oh, we are taking it. I don't follow. I push a button, the armor plates flip, and voila. Batmobile. That's incredible. If you're not just pulling my leg. Yeah. Lucius Fox was a genius. You've put a lot of time and energy into this crusade. I prefer to think of it as a mission. Do you ever question it? Not the mission. I mean, the methods. The clandestine nature of what you do. The fear tactics. The occasional brutality. No judgment. Just curious. No. Never. Damn. I wish I had that kind of confidence. I'm having a bit of an existential crisis. Existential crisis? <sighs> yeah, it's Waller. Why wouldn't she want us to know what Freeze told you? Things have gotten gray recently. Too gray. I don't know if I'm on the right side anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up. So what are you saying? I wish I knew exactly. I was hoping talking to you might give me some clarity. Hey, you sure you're okay to do this? Absolutely. You know, I looked through Gordon's case files about Harley. Her father suffered from mental illness that eventually drove him to suicide. An illness with a strong hereditary link. It's very possible she wants the serum to prevent the same thing happening to her. If she fails, she's got one deadly plan B. <laughs> Don't sound so worried, Batman. I'm here to help. We're almost there. blood she'll be incredibly dangerous hey, you don't need to tell me 
Then we're on the same page. <sighs> I knew she'd be able to do it. Who? And do what? Catwoman. They threw her in this murder box before we left. Think she's still around? No. She's a runner. I doubt we'll be hearing from her anytime soon. Harley. She must be gone already. Do you think that means she already has the vials? I don't know, but it's worth a look. Maybe she got scared off before she could find them. C4. Plastic explosive. Only a little, though. Must be remnants from something... bigger. I don't remember Bane making bombs, and it doesn't match Freeze's M.O. Who then? Harley? John? Even money on both. Hey, Avesta, does this look familiar? We call it a liminal device, a not quite as powerful phalanx key. Some agency field ops are issued one, and if they left it, they must have been rushed. An agency team has been here. C4 doesn't seem like agency issue. No, but with Waller these days, who knows? What is it? They're gone. The vials are gone. Well, that seals it. The liminal device and now missing vials. This has got Waller written all over it. So... Keep looking. here before. Dried. Must be from when Harley shot Bane's men. supposed to preserve him. Obviously, it failed. Wait. Decomposition is actually accelerated. The vials are gone, and now this. I don't think Harley would bother to try and destroy Riddler's body. It must be the agency to stop anyone from replicating the serum. That's some sloppy work, still leaving it here. If Harley decides to release the virus, that sample may be the most valuable weapon we have. Alfred, I did a bioscan of Riddler's corpse. I'm sending the data to you. The body is breaking down, so do your best with it. Received, Bruce. It's... Oh my. This may take a bit of time. So, Waller takes the blood and has Riddler's body destroyed. Would make her the only player who could create a viable Project Lotus sample. Having all the pieces to the puzzle. Oh my god. Bruce. 
The Pact all had problems. Medical problems they needed solving. And if Waller's the solution, she can make them work for her. She's not above using leverage to get people under her thumb. I mean, look what she did with my identity. Harley. The virus. Where is she, John? Where's Harley? I don't think we've been formally introduced. Doe. John Doe. <laughs> you seem kind of familiar. Easy, John. This is Avesta. Special Agent Avesta. I'm John Doe. Only hearts come up. Sorry to hear that, John. Do you think you could answer Mr. Wayne's question? This is a guy, this is a guy who has it all together. How many girlfriends do you have, Ruth? Color me impressed. <laughs> she was here. Wait, she was here? Yeah. Where is she now, John? This is important. You got some real nerve, you know that? Hey, just manipulate her, John. And then you told me you'd have my back. We'd have each other. You and me. Bruce and John, John and Bruce, A and B, B and... You get where I'm going. And for what? She flew the coop. <laughs> I have nothing. You steered me wrong at every turn. Every bad piece of advice, everything blew up in my face. This isn't my fault. Harley betrayed us, both of us. Yeah, but you weren't in love with her. There's no point. It's over. The pact, the dream, us. Not yet, it's not. She's still out there with a deadly virus in a city full of innocent people. Call me when you got something I care about. It always surprises me how heavy guns are. This was hers. It's all I have left. John, don't be stupid. I will break your hand to get that gun. Oh, Bruce, you're always so serious. <laughs> I was joking. Well, it's been real. What are you doing, John? Leaving. There's nothing left for me here. A lot of bad memories. And a weird smell. John, I understand you want to run. I've run before. But problems, they just come with you. No matter how far you go. Nope. Pretty sure I can get away from that smell. Damn it, John. Listen to me. I need to find Harley. I don't want to do this anymore. Not for you. Not for her. Certainly not for Gotham. I don't care. John, please. This is important. I know it hasn't been easy for us, but I am your friend. Okay, buddy. Look, the 
agency was here. They took the blood. I was up here in a very dark place. They didn't find me, but Harley did. I told her what happened to Riddler. <laughs> she gave me this. And where do you think Miss Quinn is now? We'd like to find her sooner, rather than later. I don't want to find her! My heart can't take another kicking! I don't ever want to see her again! She ruined me! I, I can't! You need closure, John. Face to face. Nothing else is gonna make you feel better. I promise you that. I just can't say no to you, Bruce. <laughs> you gotta keep an eye on this guy. That Wayne charm gets him every time. You sure know how to spin things. All the right ways to uh, twist my arm. It's going to take me a few hours to find her. I have to check a few places, do some things. Okay, we'll come with you. <laughs> no. You won't. There will be plenty of time for John and Bruce later. This is... I need to do this alone. I'll call you when I find something. Wait, hold on. We'd really like your help, John. Are you sure you won't reconsider us coming with you? I did. And it's a hard pass. It's okay. Go. Bruce, let's talk about this. He'll come through. He's done it before. It's funny. When you first walked through that door, I honestly thought you came here to check on me. I'm going to track down those vials in the agency's cold storage. Be careful. Thanks. Alfred, how's the bioscan analysis going? Nearly complete. I should have it ready for you when you arrive. I'm on my way. Back. I'm taking over at the computer. What's the matter? Uh, Thomas, uh, let's, let's chat. Now's the time. It won't be long. There's so much to do. Shh, 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 shh. Alfred, Alfred, it's just a dream. Uh, I, will, I will not be quiet, Thomas. Martha and Master Bruce aren't safe with those people in the house. No, you, you need to think of your family. Please, please wake up. Bruce, I... Where, where, where am I? Easy, easy. You're in the cave. Take your time, think back, and tell me exactly what happened. Oh, no, it was... It was nothing. I was... I was working and I felt... I felt dizzy for a moment. Uh, I, I must have been more exhausted than I realized. 
Well, basically, that's all there is to it. First it's your hand shaking, and now you're... you're passing out. We, we can't keep ignoring this. You need to be looked at before it gets worse. Uh, oh, Chet. Hey, 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 be careful. Oh, oh. Thank you, Bruce. I'll just catch my breath. Just give me a moment, please. It's all nonsense. What is? Freeze's magic cure-all. It doesn't work as intended. Take a look. The bioscan of Riddler's body. I used the analysis you sent me to simulate its interaction with the virus. And the bat computer promptly found holes in Freeze's calculations. Lois, Megavirus. Only one known survivor. Riddler. Freeze thinks his blood is now a key to unlocking Lotus's true potential. It appears that Lotus can be synthesized into a restorative agent for the human body. A remarkable one. Well, Freeze got that part right, but... But as soon as Lotus repairs any physical problems, it causes irreparable damage to the subject's brain chemistry. It drives you insane. It's what Riddler meant when he said, I wasn't always like this. All of these people, all of them trying to kill each other, for something that will make them as deranged as he was in the end. We all should know by now that miracles come with a cost. Lotus is nothing more than a poison. Harley's already insane, Alfred. I doubt she's worried about taking it up a notch. Yes, you're probably right. Although if she wants the serum to avoid what happened to her father, well, <laughs> it's certainly ironic. Run the simulation again. Then forward the readings to Special Agent Imana Vesta. Ah, I already ran it several times myself. Uh, I... I wanted to, to be thorough. A silly notion, I know. My problems are purely psychological. My real cure is a very long vacation. Somewhere far away from Gotham. A place where the sun actually comes to visit. Maybe if you'd listen to me and start seeing your therapist. Uh, yes, yes, I know. It's just, the more I talk about my kidnapping last year and my rescue by Batman, the harder it is keeping certain details a secret. You should understand that. Avesta. I read your report. The serum makes the whole thing beyond dangerous. Did you find out where Waller's keeping Riddler's blood? Yeah. She's got the area on lockdown, but I think I can get myself in. And then, I'm taking these things off the table. Permanently. Agreed. But, be careful. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm trusted here. I won't let Waller turn the agency back into something like Sanctus, Bruce. The vials have to go. Good luck. Let's get you somewhere more comfortable. Oh, Bruce. Uh, Tiffany's up there. She's probably wondering where I hurried off to. I'm sorry, Al, but we can't risk you falling again. Very well. No, we, we mustn't keep Tiffany worrying any longer. She's done quite enough of that the past few days. Ready? I'm afraid that's all we do. Worry the ones closest to us. Okay, yes, thank you. The doctor is on her way. How are you feeling? 
Well, better. A little more rest and some tea, and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride. Which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. I just need facts. It's definitely concerning. Yeah, I've told you already that it's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. So... Bruce... Um... After our little talk at your office... I had an idea. There's something I want to show you. So... I've been working on this in my spare time. I remember you said you could use the help, you know, when you're Batman. I started thinking about a tactical suit, in case I'm ever needed in the field. para aramid synthetic lining. Photo-adaptive suit coloring. Full-spectrum, full-surround heads-up display. I should be able to get the mesh fabricated in no time. I'm getting ahead of myself. The last thing you want is me out there on the rooftops with you. This wasn't all just about me. You've been going up against some heavy opposition, Bruce. More than usual. Alfred told me how Bane nearly killed you. So I designed you this. That's a gun. Let me read you the specs. That man doesn't use guns, Tiffany. You mean, at all? I guess I've never seen you use one. But I didn't realize that was, like, a rule. I don't use a gun, because Batman doesn't kill. Okay. I get it. Still, criminals are always trying to kill Batman. Are you telling me you've never once considered a gun? Just to even the odds. It's a no-brainer. Of course I think about it sometimes. It'd be the easiest thing in the world. But easy doesn't make it right. Bingo. Listen, I should have thought it through more. I just got so caught up in the design, I didn't... I have a lot left to learn. No, don't be so hard on yourself. to go. We'll be waiting right here. John? Dr. 
Dr. Quinzel. This is Harley's. Say the truth. It, it, it wasn't me. I, I, I mean, it, it was me, but it, it was self-defense. I, I know it needs work. Bruce, I'm so glad you're here. Please, it just—it's—it's it's not what it looks like. I, I can explain. Just try and reserve judgment. Take a deep breath, John. Just calm down. It was horrible. Just horrible. But you're, you're right. I, I should do my exercises. Get a hold of myself. What happened? Is Harley here? She left just as I got here. The agents. Looking for her. They're not supposed to just start shooting, Bruce. They're supposed to say, hands up! I've seen it on the TV. They just attacked you. I tried to talk sense into them, but they wouldn't listen. They, they just wanted blood. Something took hold of me. Something dark and vicious and desperate for survival. I grabbed the nearest thing and started swinging. <laughs> you think this is funny? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I always laugh when I'm nervous. You said you hit them with something. I think so. I, I just grabbed whatever came to hand. This woman has a gunshot wound. Oh, really? In the back. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's... It's coming back to me now. She was going for her partner's gun, and I... I just, I just went on autopilot. I didn't stop until I was safe. I've just been sitting here in the dark until you came in okay let's go 
Sounds... sounds like you did what you had to do. Exactly! It was a real life-or-death moment. I just sort of closed my eyes and hoped for the best. I felt so much rage inside me, Ruth. It was terrifying. It was like... It was like I became someone else. Someone dangerous. But someone you want around when your back's against the wall. Don't look at me like that. It was a momentary episode. A, a flash in the pan. It won't be a problem. I, I promise. You, you believe me, don't you? You have faith in your good old buddy John, right? Of course I believe you. Oh, good! Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't sure I could count on you. Not after I discovered you put a tracking device on me. Not after the raid. It's been hard, knowing you haven't been straight with me, Bruce. Keeping your secrets. When we're supposed to have all this trust between us. Everyone keeps secrets, John. Kind of the gig. Oh, Bruce, there are secrets, and then there are secrets. Yours is definitely a secret. You forget, I know you. The real you. Always hiding behind some kind of mask. Playboy, businessman, criminal, bat. Dun, dun, dun. You can't fool a friend. Someone who really takes the time to look. You are the Batman. You kind of gave it away with the laptop. Bruce wanting it, and Bats wanting it. Too much of a coincidence to ignore. That's ridiculous. I'm the furthest thing from Batman there is. You don't have to keep your mask on anymore, Bruce. Not with me. I had some doubts after you gave up Catsy to a room full of murderers. But then you had to maintain your cover, didn't you? For the greater good. So what? You think you can use that against me? Huh? Blackmail me? I would never! We're two threads in the same stitch, remember? Oh, my head feels all messed up right now. I need a purpose. I know where Harley is. She took a truck out of the city, across the Gotham Bridge. Let me help you stop her. You and me, Batman. We can clean up this city together. Unless... Uh, unless the stitch is... Truly broken. In which case, uh, we should both go our separate ways. When this is over, we will have a very serious talk about all this. But right now, let's go find Harley. We'll bring her in together. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Bruce. You're doing such great things. Sorry about the blood. We've got to catch up with Harley before these murderous agents find her. She's got explosives and the virus. If they start shooting, things could get really exciting. Oh boy! Remember when you said you could buy me a car? I think I'd like to take you up on the offer.
Bridge to hell if you don't give me Riddler's blood! Can't do it, Quinn. Even if I wanted to. I mean it! The bridge and every sad son of a bitch on it! The blood is gone! The Sam you want is no longer an option! Stand down now! No one needs to get hurt! I said get back! You're gonna kill her, Bruce! You gotta shoot first and ask questions later! I can't just stand here and do nothing! We can't let that happen! John, don't do anything stupid. Stupid? Me? When have I ever? I'm going to try not to be offended, Bruce. You know how I feel about personal insults. John, John, you're right. You're right. I take it back. Thank you. Although I kind of get where you're coming from. Wayne, about time you showed up. What in the good goddamn is he doing here? Director Waller, John Doe's, uh, been aiding Bruce's investigations. This creature's with you? Yeah, he's with me. So watch what you say about him. Thanks, Bruce. I know we're in a crisis, ma'am, but Creature is rude. Even if the resemblance is there, it's just not polite to equate humans to... Uh... Yeah, we, we can talk about it later. Keep him on a tight leash. Harley's making demands we simply can't meet. Her detonator's on a dead man switch. She lets it go. This bridge is history. This situation is rapidly spiraling out of control. I'm running out of options. Harley is heading towards a cliff, and she's gonna drag all of us with her. I know you took the blood. Why don't you just give it to her and save all of us the pain? I can't do that. One of my own people tampered with Riddler's blood. Someone inside the agency. The serum Quinn wanted to make is off the table for good. It's destroyed. Why don't we let Bruce try negotiating? He spent a lot of time with Harley recently. <sighs> Give it a shot, Bruce. See what you can do. Stand down, people. Let him through. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. Harley. Never thought I'd see you again. Thought you'd cut and run after your cover was blown. All I want is Riddler's blood. I get it? I leave Gotham for good. That agency hellbeast says she don't got it, but I know she's lying through her teeth. Her people took it from Valea. The serum you're trying to make, it doesn't do what you think it does. How do you know about that? Because I looked into it. It does as much harm as it does good, maybe more. Harley, you're a doctor. You have to understand. It destroys your brain chemistry. Uh-huh. Sure. You're gonna tell me you love me, Wayne? Excuse me? I like a little romance when I'm getting screwed. I'm holding all the goddamn cards. Either they give me what I want, or I play the one that goes BOOM! I ain't fooling around. I'll do it without a second thought. Listen, I have pulled with these people. You turn yourself in. I can protect you. Good, Bruce. That's the way. She just needs to see she'll be taken care of. I don't need protection. Never have. Way I see it, you need protection from me. Stand down! Bruce, you got her warmed up. Let me take it from here. Uh, couldn't? Let me talk to her. I know her better than anyone. I'm so glad you're here, baby. These deadbeats want my head on a stick. You can do it, John. I believe in you. I won't let you down. I have everything worked out. Up here. Trust me. I learned from the 
best. Okay, just... Just what? Tell her what she wants to hear. Well, I know you're all about pulling people's strings, Bruce. But Harley won't fall for crass manipulation. Not when the stakes are so high. Hey, don't worry about a thing. With all these people watching, how can I not live up to the occasion? Those two reprobates getting their heads together is a recipe for a disaster. Huh? What were you thinking? There's a way you can get out of here. You just have to be smart. Not like you and your people were doing any better. Watch yourself. If this all goes wrong, they'll be hell to pay. You'll be damn sure I'll be sending you the bill. This is going south. We're gonna shut this down right now. If we interfere now, we could push him right back into Harley's arms. If we don't, everyone on this bridge will die. Stand by to move in, people. Alpha team, move into flank. Take your positions. Look for a clean shot. What the hell do you think you're doing? You gotta trust him, Waller. I'm telling you, he'll come through. With a marriage proposal, maybe. Not a successful resolution to the crisis at hand. You need to have faith. Stand down. You backstabbing piece of crap! Don't struggle, Harley. They think you're a fighter. They're gonna put you in the hole. They're gonna rip your head off, you co-diamond son of a- Get her out of here. How could you, John? You broke my heart. Bruce showed me how to be good, Harley. In a way you never could. Thank you for your help, Mr. Doe. You did a great job. The virus, please. I don't think so. I don't think anyone should have this. Least of all you. Well then, we'll no longer be requiring your service. No! What are you doing? He helped us! You betrayed me! After I saved the day! <sighs> Agency people! You're just the worst! Find that bag! And get Quinn in the truck immediately! Where's Wayne? I want him secured! Subdue him if you have to! Just... Let's go through so much fun! 
Ha, 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 ha!